In today's video, we're gonna show you how to make this super awesome wiggly text effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and hop into it. First thing that we need to do is simply just add a fusion composition to our timeline. I am using a 4K timeline and let's go ahead and hop into fusion. Now I'm gonna go ahead, add a background node, plug that in, and that's gonna give me a background and I'm going to change this to an alpha. So I'll click the background node and slide down the alpha channel. All I need to do is add a text, merge that text on top, and then I can go ahead over here and pick what I want for the text to say. Let's go ahead and do wiggly text, and I can always come over here and change that text to whatever I want, and I'm gonna go with this little marker looking text right here. Let's scale that up so we can see it a little bit better. And now let's go ahead and build the effect and then make it so that we can change out the text or change out with any PNG that we would like to, to give it that same wiggly effect. The nodes that you're going to need in this are a fast noise, a displace, and a stop motion. So let's go ahead and add those nodes in. So I'm pressing shift spacebar, typing in fast noise, shift spacebar, displace, and then shift spacebar, stop motion. We need to add the displace node to our text and then add the fast noise to the displace. Now as you can see, that really doesn't do anything, but let's go ahead and I'm gonna click this button up here to open up my two screens. I'm gonna bring the fast noise up here. You can see our fast noise. We just need to animate the fast noise so that it's moving around and will make the text move around also. So over here is your see the rate. All you need to do is bring that up and I found for me, 1.2 seems to be the see the rate that I need for my video. Go ahead and press play. You can see now my text is wiggling and now I just have to adjust this fast noise to give it the effect that I want. So kind of playing around with it, I found that I like having about a 50 and then bringing the detail down just a little bit to soften it up. It gives me a really good effect. As you can see, we're getting that effect right now, but it's not happening in the middle. It's only happening on the sides. It's because the default for the displaced text is radial. So click from radial to X and Y. And then all you need to do, because now the effect isn't working, what you need to do is just change your Y refraction and your X refraction, and that will give you the effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bring this down a little bit and bring this up a little bit. And if I go really crazy on these, you can see how much that's actually affecting the text. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bring them up and down just a little bit. And now if we play, you can see this awesome little wiggly animation that's happening. You can always go back in your fast noise and you can make this a little bit faster. So let's go ahead and increase the see the rate. And you can see what that does to your text. But before I show you what I like to do with the stop motion node, let's go ahead and take a quick pause for our sponsor. This video today is brought to you by Audio. If you're a creator like me, music and sound design are just as important as creating amazing visuals. That's why I use audio for my music and sound design. And with Audio's new AI search tool, you can guarantee to find the perfect music for your project fast and easy. Check the description below where you can use my code to get 70% off Audio today. Now, back to the video. Now, in order to give it kind of a stop motion feel, we're gonna go ahead and just add a stop motion node. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold shift, bring this node over and put it right underneath the displace node. And when we do that, as you can see, this is gonna go ahead and give us a nice stop motion animation wiggly text. And what I like to do with this is just bring this down to a repeat of two. So that's repeating every two frames. Let's go ahead and look at that. And I might just bring up the refraction just a little bit more, just to give it a little bit more power. So the cool thing of how we built this is now, if we want to, we can come over here back to our edit page, go into power bins. And if you want to, you can come up to text. You can actually grab this fusion composition and place it in here. And now that effect is saved forever. And every time you grab this down and bring it in, you will have that wiggly text effect in every single one of your projects. And if you ever want to change the text, all you have to do is come into fusion, go to the text box and change this text to whatever you like. And now that effect will work on that text. That's how you make wiggly text instead of DaVinci Resolve. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.